With so much to consider when designing a pool, it is easy to find yourself thrown into the deep end. Luckily, Pool Studio by Structure Studios is a great tool that will help take your design from concept to construction. Join us today as we take a quick dive into Pool Studio. Beginning a new project will allow you to enter all of the pertinent information about the project and the client. This will help keep everything organized right from the beginning. Once the project is set up, you will see the Pool Studio interface. The screen is divided into four main parts. The large area in the center is the 2D grid. The area on the right is the panel menu. At the top, you will see the menu bar, and on the left, you will see the library and smart data tabs. Pool Studio breaks the process down into elements. On the panel menu, you can see each element by category. On the design tab, you will see many options, including the option to insert a GIS image or a CAD file. To begin, we will import our design from CAD. Simply select the tool and then browse to your CAD file. Now that we have our line work, we are able to use the tools from the appropriate design elements to trace and recreate our design in Pool Studio. For example, we can go to the Plants and Trees tab and place a Pool Studio plant assets where our CAD plan dictates. Simply browse the plant library, select the plant that we want, and place where specified in our CAD drawing. Once our plants are placed, we can toggle to the 3D view to see our design. You can follow this process for each element, everything from the house itself to the hardscaping and everything in between. Pool Studio has a large library that makes this process a breeze. When you are ready to design your pool, go to the Pool Element tab. From here, we can draw a pool from scratch, or we can use a pool from the library as a starting point. We will place a pool from the library and then click 3D to get a preview. Now that we have a starting point, we can go back to the 2D view and make any changes that we want. In this case, we will drop our elevation so that the pool sits flush with the ground, and we will use the smooth tool to round out our corners. Once we have made all of the changes that we desire, we can toggle back to the 3D view to see how it looks. While this was just a brief introduction to Pool Studio, we hope it showcases the true potential of the tool. If pool design is a part of your workflow, then Pool Studio should be on the short list of tools to consider. For more power tips like the one you just watched, head on over to landeffects.com forward slash power tips.